Welcome to the BB Niger Gist segment of Lifestyle with Chinese Versatile. So today made it the fourth live eviction that saw the sixth housemate being kicked out of the Big Brother Niger house. It is really an emotional time for me, knowing fully well that one of our own, actually number two, the second person of our own, a member of our clan, has actually been booted out of the Big Brother Niger house. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm beginning to think maybe I might have to not continue the gist if Bathoni eventually gets out. Anyways. So after the viewers had actually voted their favorites that they wished to stay in the house, Watoni, Tricky T, V and Grace turned out to be those at the bottom four, leaving these four's fate in the hands of their fellow housemates. And it had them voting their favorites and of course, Grace turned out to be the one who was quite unlucky and put it out of the big brother house tonight. Well, I must say, while I am, you know, kind of in between with my emotions right now, which is really inconsequential, who's out of the house, is out of the house, is moving on and moving ahead, which we're wishing that very best. But I must bring to four that after Kaisha's um, eviction from the last week, which we saw most of, much of the housemates voting out of emotions and the hate they did or dislike they really had for Kaisha, it seems that this week's voting was more of with sense as they had to actually vote those who they thought were quite. Um, uh, a competition for them. That's actually what I saw play out. And looking at the, the the statistics that came in of the votes from the outside, it is really, really was really destined for Praise to go tonight because he was actually the one at the least. I feel so bad for him, but we're thankful anyways. He had a very good run, and um, from the the statistics so far, Praise actually did have about 1.4 million naira that he won from much of the games and the tasks that he did in the house, some of which were the Hawaii, um, you have the Hawaii, you have the Tom Tom, yeah, and he was quite lucky, you know, he made um, quite a run for his money, he really was good entertainment, I really enjoyed his vibes in the house, and unfortunately, he was supposed to be pampered the rest of the week, but that got taken away from him, probably um, the universe definitely saw that he was going on tonight, and then all of this played out, well, we wish him all the best, of course, we still have Watoni in the house, so we're hoping that Watoni, I don't know what that Baba is doing for her, but he's really doing well, I must say. So in other news, after the head of house games on Monday, which saw Kidwire turning out to be the head of house of that week, and then he assigned, or rather he picked up his um, deputy being Tolani Baj, and then Big Brother informed him, giving him instructions, that he would be leaving the house in his care. And while he was away, left him with some certain instructions. Well. Turns out that Kidwire failed at much of the task handed to him by Biggie, which saw um, Biggie return rather than with presents. Biggie came back to the house with punishment. Well, Biggie, of course, came with his evidence so as not to be told that he was lying. And Biggie showed them video evidences of much of the rules they did break, and um, of course, called out Kidwire, Talani Badge, um, Ozo, and Erica giving Ozo and Erica a strike each for whispering as seen in the video and as well um, give Erica another strike for violating the rule of staying over in the head of house um, lounge after lights out. It was unfortunate so um, Erica got a gift of um, that a punishment gift from Biggie uh, two strikes and we saw Erica very moody through the time as well we also as always okay of course he saw the evidence and for Tolani Badge Talani Badge also um, gets banned from participating in HOH tasks or even as deputy um, in the coming week. Likewise, um, Kidwire. And Kidwire was given a punishment for not being able to tell the housemates a compelling story and allow them to all keep speculating over the place. So he gave them, um, he gave Kidwire the punishment and he would have to participate for two weeks for the HOH task. I'm guessing that that is three weeks that um, Kidwire is not going to have to participate in that's, it's rather unfortunate that this has to happen to him, but I think next time he will take instructions more seriously. Well, in other news, I will definitely give you this gist. The fact that Watoni has finally booed up with Brighto. Who actually knew this was coming? Probably it was somewhere along the line, but she was really trying to play safe. And honestly, right now, I really don't know what's up with Watoni. I mean, she's becoming really annoying. But I'm hoping that this next week she's got to her advantage, that she will take really good, make really good use of it. Because she's been playing with Lone Ranger much of this time in the house. And to me, I feel she's not been a strong team player. But I'm hoping that this week she's got in her hands, she would use it wisely and be 
more um, be more grateful, you know, about it and take good advantage of it. Um, yeah, so she pulled up and my girl Dorothy is still holding up. I really like that girl's vibe in the house and I really like her, honestly. But all the same, um, life continues, life goes on. Well, I don't understand what's happening with V and Neil. I don't really know what they are up to in that relationship, but I wish them all the best. As for Nengi and Ozo, oh my God, I don't know if they're going to sail eventually. They're just giving someone suspense. I think we're tired already. You guys, decide what you want to do, or better still, stop putting our heads there. And I am guessing that new housemates will be coming in within the week. I was actually expecting for the new housemates to come in at this eviction show, but of, of course it is an eviction show. So probably Biggie has plans to bring them in within the week. I'm just waiting for things to spice up. Well, we're seeing these speculations because on the site, Big Brother Ninja site, there were there are speculations that that might happen as um, Biggie gave opportunities for viewers to suggest if they were Biggie, what would they do? And people began, began people began to throw in their suggestions. So we're seeing it likely happening within the week or in the coming weeks. So there are about 35 days into the show and we have about a month to go. So we're really keeping our fingers crossed. We hope our representative of the single parent community, which we have right now in the house, being Wathoni, makes us proud. Rather, I've been disappointed, but I'm hoping that from hence we should pick up on the game and make us proud. Well, that's the much you can take today. We're using this opportunity to wish um, Praise all the best in his end of us. He's coming back to Abuja. So, yeah, so we'll be waiting for Prince at the Namdia Security Airport to welcome him if we get to know and if they release him from Lagos pretty soon. Well, this is the much we can take for tonight's um, BBN gist. Um, I'm going to see you next week. Of course, you know we do this weekly because we don't have time for stress. I don't have time for our maple. I'm just good learning. I'm just learning at this maple thing, okay? So take what all. Thank you for watching. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to see you next week. And be good. Have a lovely week. Namaste.